Hello friends, welcome to JavaScript video tutorial series. From the past few video tutorials, we are trying to understand JavaScript operators. In the previous video tutorials, we have already discussed JavaScript logical operators, arithmetic operators, relational operators, assignment operators, bitwise operators, increment operator, decrement operator and conditional operator. We left with one more JavaScript operators list. That is JavaScript special operators. Type of operator, comma operator, new operator, delete operator are considered as JavaScript special operators. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss each of these special operators in detail step by step. First, we discuss type of operator. Already we have discussed the type of operator in the previous video tutorials. Here we have uh, a demonstration once again. Type of operator returns the type of a given operand. It returns the type of a given operand. Type of operator is a unary operator. It takes only one operand and returns the type of that operand. Let's have a demonstration. I go to notepad. You can see that I have already opened default.html in the notepad. It has the basic HTML document structure code written. Title is set to special operators. In between the body section, I have already written opening script and closing script tag. I have already opened default.html in the Chrome. Title is set to special operators. Let me go to notepad. In between the script tag, I say here document.write in double quotations, I say special operators, bracket close semicolon, file, save, go to browser and refresh. We got the output special operators. Let me go back. I copy this line of code, paste down and here I give the break tag so that the browser should move the cursor to the next line. Next, I copy this line of code and paste down. Here I use the type of operator. I say type of operator. I give the value 5. We know that 5 is of type number. So we get the output here number. Let me copy this line of code and paste down. File save. Go to browser and refresh. We got the output number. Let me copy both of these lines of code and paste down. This time I give a string. So I say here JavaScript. We know that sequence of characters enclosed in double quotations or single quotations is known as a string in JavaScript. So type of this is string, S-T-R-I-N-G, string. File, save, go to browser and refresh. We got the output string there. Next, I'm going to paste here. And this time I give uh, the value true. We know that values true and false are boolean values. So type of true, we should get the output here, boolean. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that we got the output boolean. Next, I paste here. This time I give a value here, undefined. I am using the value undefined. We know that by default, the variable value will be undefined. Undefined indicates uninitialized variable, right? So the default type of any variable will be undefined. So here I can say undefined is going to be the output we get. File, save, go to browser and refresh. We got the output undefined. Next, I pass here the value null. We know that objects in JavaScript are reference types. They hold the address of another memory location they point to another memory location, right? If we want, the object should not point to any memory location. Then we put the value null inside the object. So its type is object. File, save, go to browser and refresh. We got the output object. Not only we can pass values, we can pass here a variable name or a constant name. For example, I can create here var num equal to 25 semicolon and then I say here type of num what we get we get the output number right file 
save, go to browser and refresh. We got the output number on the screen. That is type of operator. Type of operator returns the type of a given operand and it's a unary operator. It takes only one operand. Next we discuss the comma operator. Comma operator returns the right hand side operand value. For example, were c equal to 2 comma 2 plus 3 comma 5, it is same as were c equal to 2 plus 5. What is that? Actually here the comma discards the first operand value. Here also the comma discards the first operand value. It only returns the right hand side operand value. Okay, let's see the demonstration. What I do here, I create one variable called as c and then I pass 2 comma 2 bracket close plus 3 comma 5 bracket close semicolon. It is same as saying where c is equal to here this 2 will be returned 2 plus here the 5 will be returned. So 5. What output we get? c equal to 2 plus 5 means c should have 7. Let me copy these two lines of code and paste here and I display the value of c. I should get the output 7 on the screen. File, save, go to browser and refresh. We got the output 7. For example, I change here 20. I change here 20. So what comma does here? It returns the right hand side operand value that is 20. Here also same thing. Right hand side operand value is 20. We will be having the output 40 on the screen. File, save, go to browser and refresh. We got the output 40 on the screen. That is the use of comma operator and how it behaves in JavaScript. Okay. Next, we understand the new and delete operators. New and delete operator we use with respect to JavaScript objects. In this video tutorial, we have a brief explanation of JavaScript objects. Later, we are going to discuss in detail, in depth, JavaScript objects. We discuss built-in JavaScript objects. We understand user-defined JavaScript object. That means we can create our own objects. How do we create our own objects? How do we manage our own objects later? In this video tutorial, our agenda is just to understand what is a new operator, what is a delete operator. So try to understand what I am explaining in this part. Okay. What new operator does? New operator is used to create new instance of an object. Now what is an object? Object means any real world entity is called as an object. For example, a student is an object. A car is an object. Building is an object. Book is an object. Pen is an object. Anything in this real world is an object. Sun is an object. Planet is an object. Player is an object. Enemy is an object. Everything is actually considered as object. You can create a new instance of any object. For example, you can create a instance of a student, student 1, student 2, student 3. You can create a new instance of a car, car 1, car 2, car 3, like that. So how do we do that? Let's have a demonstration. Here, I am going to say were student 1 is equal to new object, bracket, bracket, semicolon. This is how we create a new instance uh, called a student 1. What happens when this line will get executed? Means, what browser does means it creates one memory location for the student 1. It creates one memory location for student 1, S-T-U-D-E-N-T -E 1, student 1 variable. Then, as there is a equal to sign, the right hand side part is going to get executed. The new operator is going to create an instance of an object. What actually it does means, it creates one memory location okay and that memory location assume that it has an address hash 10 okay that newly created memory location address will be assigned to the student one here so the student one is going to have the value hash 10 inside and then it is going to start pointing to that memory location which has the address hash 10 so here student one is a object it's a reference type. It holds the address of another memory location. It points to another memory location. 
understanding so this block that you see here is a new instance of a object okay next objects are going to have properties for example students are going to have roll number name present or absent right car is going to have uh, properties like model color plate number etc mileage etc right we can add properties to any object something like this here student 1 should have a property called as name and here i give a value johnny okay this is how you add a property name to the student 1 when this line will get execute what browser does means it goes to the memory location where the student 1 is pointing there it creates one new memory location okay and for that memory location it gives a name name and puts the value there johnny okay and also you can observe that this new instance object memory location size is increased right we can display the value of name or we can display the student one name by using the document dot write i am going to copy these two lines of code and paste here in this place i say student1 that is a object dot is a member access operator the member is name we get the output here johnny on the screen file save go to browser and refresh you can see that we got the output johnny on the screen also we can see the memory representation of the student1 by going to the chrome options button more tools developer tools if you go to developer tools here on the right hand side you see a watch just click on this triangle and you click on the plus sign to add a watch add expression it is telling if i click on the plus sign there we can type i want to see the memory representation of the student 1 object hit enter if you carefully see there the student 1 object has the name property and its value is set to johnny i can add one more property for example roll number if i want how do we do that all i need to do is i am going to say here student1 dot roll number equal to 1 semicolon once this line will get execute the student1 object is going to have one more property called as roll number and its value is set to 1 okay file save go to browser and when i refresh you observe here if i refresh you can see that the roll number property is added and its value is 1 we can display the value of student 1 roll number how do we do that by using the document dot write i copy this line of codes paste here i say student 1 dot roll number here we get the output 1 file save go to browser and refresh we should see the output one displayed on the screen understanding so that is how you can create an object you can add properties to the objects okay next we have delete operator delete operator is used to delete a property of an object you can use the delete operator to delete a property of an object delete operator is a unary operator it takes only one operand and here we are writing stud1 dot roll number if i want to delete the roll number then we write something like this for example i want to delete the roll number now how do we do that here i say delete student1 dot roll number i am telling to the browser delete the student1 roll number member or roll number property when this line will get execute browser deletes the roll number property file save go to browser when i refresh this roll number will not be available here if i refresh you can see that the roll number is not available only the name property is available roll number is deleted that is the use of delete operator delete operator is used to delete a property of an object so from the student one we deleted the roll number property if we try to display the roll number for example after deleting if i try to display we get here undefined and 
defined because we have not defined the role number yet because it is deleted file save go to browser and refresh you can see that we got the output undefined hope you guys have clearly understood what is new operator what is delete operator we discuss again new operator delete operator javascript built in objects javascript user defined objects later video tutorials in detail in depth friends hope at least you got some idea about the new and delete operator i suggest you people to try creating a object called as car1 something like var car1 equal to new object car1 dot model some model car1 dot color display them try to delete some car1 properties etc try to see uh, try to add that to the watch list and see the memory representation okay we can uh, remove the memory representation by clicking on this delete watch expression if you click on this minus sign that object is removed now okay i close this for this video tutorial this much is enough friends please subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial